Alright, welcome everyone. Um, I'm just going to tell you about something that happened uh, yesterday. Um, well, it's not I did yesterday. Uh, I went. To, if you didn't know, I went to Eurogamer Expo in London uh, on the 24th of September, 2011, and uh, I got to, I got a chance to play some really awesome games. One of them was uh, Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops. Um, now, uh, when I got home, I uh, well, not straight after, but soon after I got home, I uh, wrote up this uh, very quick, small, uh, shortened down review of uh, Spec Ops and Modern Warfare 3. It's uh, survival, by the way. Um, so, if you want to go read it. Uh, you can go. I'll put the link below. Um, if you want to go read this uh, very short review um, that I posted on the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Three forums, um, again, go go to the link below, read it, and uh, if you're signed up to, uh, if you've got an account, you can uh, comment like other people have been. Um, so yeah, uh, I will have a full review of Spec Ops, and I also got a chance to play. Uh, Battlefield 3 on the 360 as well at the Expo. Um, I can't really say much about that because of the way that the other team were playing. Um, the map, I will say this, the map that's in the beta uh, for the uh, that comes out uh, this week, um, that, uh, the map on there is called Operation Metro. Now the problem is when you get to the last stage on that map, um, because you can play Rush, um, the last stage on that, the other team uh, the ones that spawn outside, they can spawn kill you just endlessly because you spawn inside, um, I think you just spawn inside the uh, station or something. So you just spawn inside a building. Um, and what they do is the other team, they come over and they just start, uh, they camp in all the build is small little buildings inside the building and in all the corners and they, they just spawn kill you. Um, so that did actually ruin my experience of the game. Uh, but I've been told by some friends that played the alpha that as long as you have a team, um, the map should be fine. So, uh, you know, the the game, the uh, Battlefield 3 on the on the console, it does look awesome. Um, it looks a tad like uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2 on the Xbox, uh, which isn't a bad thing. Battlefield Bad Company 2 does look quite good. So, um, yeah, but, you know, um, I couldn't really tell the difference, uh, see much frame rate problems with the... Uh, uh, only at 33 seconds. I could definitely tell the difference between uh, Modern Warfare 3 running at 60 and obviously Battlefield running at 30 but apart from that they're both great games uh, I'm getting both games on release date so uh, yeah anyway the uh, my full review will be in a commentary over a uh, Black Ops HQ game I got a, a week or so ago uh, which is 11 minutes long I'm going to try and do a full review for 11 minutes on both games in one video so look out for that one that uh, should be up sometime this week and uh, that's all I want to tell you about again link below for this and uh, I'll link some of my other posts if you're interested in reading them because I've got some other info that I haven't uh, might not have shared on my YouTube channel. So go to them. Uh, I've got my social links on here as well. Uh, my Twitter, my YouTube and my uh, uh, Xbox Live gaming tag, which I've changed. So, yep, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day and uh, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.